All right. So, let's talk about what we're doing today. We're going to be playing Atari 5200 games today. This has been a very long time coming for me. Probably longer than anything as far as streaming. Um, so I gotta tell a little story and then we'll start playing the games. Um, so, I, you know, since I was a little kid, I beloved Atari 2600. Uh, grew up with Atari. Uh, I don't know if I ever knew anybody back then in the 80s that had an Atari. 5200. Um, I think I knew somebody that had a 7800, but m most everybody had the 2600. So uh, I heard the legends or whatever. I heard the stories about the 5200. Finally, eventually, I got one. I got one when I was in college, around uh, 2000. Okay, it's now 2020. Um, so I got one in college. I got some games for it, and I got a controller for it. Now I want to show you the original. Atari 5200 controller. I'm gonna talk a little bit about controllers for a while before we start playing the games, just so you know. Okay, so, so this here is the original Atari 5200 controller. Uh, I've gone through many of these. So what people do is they get them refurbished, and when you get them refurbished, they'll work maybe a little bit, or a little bit better, than, uh, than they would otherwise. A lot of times they're broken. So what would happen it, uh, back back then in like the 80s or whatever, you'd get an Atari 5200 out of the box uh, from what stuff I've read and stuff because I didn't have one then. You get one out of the box and then you start using the controller and after a little bit of time it would break basically. So same thing would happen when I, when I got one. When I first got my Atari 5200, I ha had this controller and I used it a little bit and it worked a little bit and then it broke. And then it just, nothing after that. So then I started getting into refurbished controllers and I've gotten a lot of refurb. I, I, when I was, back then, I was getting Atari 5200 refurbished controllers. Lots of them I've gone through. Um, so I, that was the first thing I, I did. Uh, hang on a second. And I also got, uh, is another Atari 5200 controller. Anyway, that's what they look like, by the way. There's like a number pad on them and all that. They're like a weird controller. Um, but Atari was notorious for using cheap parts and whatnot, so that, that's why. But, so what would happen is then I was like, okay, well, I need another solution besides the Atari 5200 controller, the, the regular one. So people would always say, well, what you need is the Wiko controller. So I got different ones, uh, all, all sorts of different ones. Um, and and I had, uh, here's, here's, one, here's one of the uh, Wiko controllers. And yeah, they look like butt plugs, different like command sticks. What's this? This is the com Wiko command control. It's like a Wiko controller. And they're weird because they have the, like these locks on the bottom and stuff. And the basically, I would get these to work a little bit, but they didn't work too good either. Okay, um, and here, here's another thing. So um, I want to talk a little bit about the ABGN episode. Music on this part's weird. Um, I have some music going while I'm doing this. Thank you, by the way, uh, Gothic for the sub and Wigs and Inspector Tushy and whatnot. For you guys in the chat, I'll start playing the games in a minute. So we're just talking a little bit first. So, so that's how the story goes. I got the 5200 in college. I went through a bunch of controllers, refurbished Wiko controllers, other sorts of controllers. I have, here look, I have, uh, I have like this one, there's another one I have, like, um, yeah, I got all sorts of controllers for the 5200 that didn't, would, wouldn't, they would work like a little bit or not work at all. The one that I did have in college that would work is the is this the trackball controller. The trackball controller is great. Works well for the Atari 5200 trackball games. If you want to play 5200, you can play it with the trackball. Trackball is really good. It always always has been. But trackball only works for a couple games is the problem. So okay, so then comes now. Um, I'm in college. I showed James the Atari 5200. You know he thought it was funny. 
um, you know, how it, how it didn't work and stuff. And, you know, here's the console right here, by the way. I had my 5200 modded. I can show it. You've probably seen it before, but here it is. And the back side has... It's, like, modded on the inside. I can't really grab the whole thing right now, but... It's modded. It's a modded 5200. Actually, maybe I can show the. It's an AV mod. So there's the there's the AV mod on the back there. So it's a modded 5200. Um, so it comes around 2007, 2008, whatever. We do the Atari 5200 AVGN episode. Now I was the one who was really into the 5200 in college. I told James about the controllers, how they're crappy, and all that stuff. And so. He, he moved to game trailers. We were on YouTube and then we went to game trailers. So he wanted to do like a console video. The first thing, the first episode on game trailers was the Atari 5200. Um, I told him all about all the Atari 5200 stuff and then he went and made the episode. The way he ends the episode is he orders um, a, I think, I think he orders a Wicco controller off of eBay, and then he gets the package, you know, hit, hit in his head or whatever, and then he goes to plug it in, but the Wicco controller has an end like that. That's like an Atari um, 2600 end right there, or Genesis, you know? That does not fit into a 5200. So here's the 5200 controller. Here's what the end of a 5200 controller looks like, right? And here's, here's the end of a Wicco controller. So he gets the Wicco controller, and then um, I see. I had told him about. I think he forgot some of the stuff I told him about it. He uh, needed to get a Y adapter cable, which I had told him about, but I guess he forgot when he was writing it or whatever. So if you've seen the, that episode, um, whenever I when I saw the episode, I was like, oh no, you forgot about the Y adapter cable because wh what I would have done. What was gonna be? Because I had the Y adapter cable. Now let's talk about the Y adapter cable. This is the Y adapter cable. Okay, which which you needed if you're gonna, you know, uh, you if you're gonna use these. Because the Wicco controller has the you know Atari 2600 Genesis end. You plug that into the Y adapter cable. And then the Y adapter cable then plugs into the Atari 5200. So you need the Y adapter cable to play with the Wicco stick, right? So, um, so the ending of that episode really should have been like, then he gets the Y adapter cable, and then he tries it with the Y adapter cable, then he uses the Wicco controller, and he's like, oh, this doesn't work very well, or this thing looks like a fucking butt plug or something. That's where I would have gone with it if we would have had a little more time. But anyway, so if we ever do re-revisit it of Atari 5200. Anyway, I'm, I'm building to a point here. So why I brought up the nerd episode, though, is because we have awesome fans, and one of our fans around 2009, 2010, uh, sent me uh, a, because we're probably talking about it in a video or something, sent me a uh, thing I'm going to show you right now. So a fan back then, somewhere around there, 2010 or something, sent me this. So the Atari 5200, the original controller, as I said, has like a number pad on it and all that. Uh, the thing with the 5200, it, it has trouble with the vertical and the horizontal. So he built this thing to where you can adjust the vertical and the horizontal, and it's got the number pads on there so you can do the, all the number pad stuff, and you would plug that directly into the 5200. So that was great, but the best thing about this was that you could plug in a Sega Genesis controller into this, and you could actually play games with the Sega Genesis controller, kind of. So what would happen with this is, basically, this it would be very hard to adjust it for the Genesis controller, and a lot of the stuff didn't work very well. So it would it kind of it, this also kind of worked. So what we what I've had is a lot of the controllers that either didn't work at all or kind of worked. The Wicco controllers, I'm not saying that they didn't work, 
They always worked, but not well. Even the original Atari 5200 controller, how we talk about how, oh, it doesn't work. It does. If you get one refurbished, it works, but not well. And if you're gonna play any of these games, you need them to work well, you know? So that was always the problem, is that, is that I could get like minimal functionality out of these controllers. Um, so I've gone through years and years and years. So now now I got, a, I got this 5200. This is the same 5200 I had from being in college that I showed James. This is it right here, this modded one. I've had it since then and I sent it out uh, like 15 years ago or something to get modded. Anyway, they're just for AV because I wanted to, but and I was still working on the controller problems at that point. So that brings us to today in 2020. That, that, that's that story. Now, check this out. This is this is what I got. And I went through and I tested all this to make sure it was gonna work. So this is what I have now. This is the exciting part. So I have a newly made Atari 5200 controller that's specifically made for all these fucking problems. So this is the start button on the side. And once again, you'll, you'll notice just like is this thing just like this one that we had sent to us a long time ago um, it has these things that you can adjust the vertical and the horizontal for the controller which is really something that I guess the original controller needed um, or maybe it had something like that but it just did, it didn't work very well or it was it was Atari so it's cheaply built so it has the same thing on here for these so you would uh, you adjust the vertical and the, the vertical and the horizontal with with these so Every time I play one of these games, I'm going to have to be screwing around with those a little bit to get it to work right. But uh, I've played now about 30 games on my own just to test it before I did this, and it works really fucking well. So I've been waiting 20 years to try to fucking play Atari 5200, and we're going to now actually do this right now. So here, here's the controller. So we're going to see how this works. Now, on top of that, what I said was I also have the trackball controller. So we're gonna be able to play the trackball games. So we have a working controller and another working controller for the Atari 5200. So this has been a long time coming. So let's get this started. So sorry for that long introduction, but I needed you to know my history with this. Oh my God. Thank you, groovy situation. And let me just scroll back up and see what you guys are saying. Akeen2012, thank you very much for the sub. Rev and Shanty Games, uh, thank you very much for those bits. I appreciate that. JT Lock81 sub for 26 months. Thank you, JT Lock81. And Rev and Shanty Games for the subs. Reno, TKE, I missed all you guys. Inspector Tushy, thank you. Wigs23. All right, so let's let's get this started. So I have Frogger on, and we're gonna get this going. Now I had music going. That that's not the Atari. I just had music playing, so it wasn't totally dead quiet. Now let's get this started. This uh, we're gonna start with Frogger for Atari 5200. We're playing Atari 5200. This is wild. I might have to adjust the thing a little bit. So so when I um. Actually, maybe I do actually have to adjust it. So when I start these games, oh, I see, I have to hit the thing with it. All right, let me start this over. All right, here we go. So when I start each game, I'm gonna have to adjust the controls a little bit, just so you know. So it might take me a minute to get each game lined up correctly. Now, I grew up playing the Atari 2600 version. This is pretty damn similar. The graphics are a little better on this, but I've never been able to play this version. Uh, fuck. Until now, the, the splash is more like animated. Fuck. It's got a little like skull and crossbones. I don't think that was there in the original. Original meaning the original Atari version of it, the like console version, not the arcade. So this is probably closer, you know, looking to the arcade, which is cool. And that was, you know, what was 
cool about the 5200. The 5200 really... There was ne never anything really wrong with the games themselves. It was just the fuck. It was just the fuck. It was just the uh, controller, really, that was the whole problem. And that's why I've always wanted to really get the 5200 working. Well, because it's like there's nothing really wrong with the games. And, I, you know, I love the 2600, so... I always felt like I was missing out by not getting to play this, but I, everybody pretty much was missing out on this. And it's a, it's a damn shame that they didn't uh, build better controllers back then. Atari, Atari would be notoriously cheap. Same thing, by the way, and so with the Atari 2600, the paddle controllers for that were notoriously cheap as well. You guys know how I love Kaboom? My favorite uh, Atari 2600 game. Kaboom, uh, or any of the paddle games, th those paddles get really jittery really quickly. So you either gotta, what am I doing? You either gotta uh, fix the controller, you can like open them up and like fix the insides of them, but even doing that is like not great. So I actually, same person who modded my 5200 actually built me special paddle controllers too that just they work so there's a potentiometer on, on the inside of an atari uh, on a inside of an atari 2600 controller and they were cheap they were fucking cheap uh, and you know the atari was always trying to save costs and whatnot so basically we got a, a better better one put in so i feel like somebody really out there I mean, there's a, there you know there's people ma making this now, so I feel like there's somebody who should take old Atari 2600 paddles and put in like expensive potentiometers and just sell them, like so that people can fucking have good Atari paddles that don't have the fucking jitter. Cause I, so back in college, what I used to do, because I used to put, like to play Kaboom a lot, I'd be like, oh, I want to play Kaboom, but I didn't have like a fixed up fancy paddle controller back then. So what I would do is you, I, you could open them up, and I think, uh, see, I haven't done it in a long time, but I think you could fix them with like, you spray like WD-40 or something, or you spray something into it, and it like fixes them up. It might not be WD-40, don't necessarily try that. I forget what it is. But you, you can like open them up, and you can like spray the shit inside, and kind, kind of like, you can fix them to where they're like, they'll be good again for like a day or two, but then they get shitty again. So you gotta keep like dicking around with it to get it to work, and, I, and it's like annoying. So you should really, somebody should really do that, I feel like, for anybody. Because, you know, some, the paddle games on the 2600 are, are great. Not only um, Kaboom, I always talk about Kaboom because that's my favorite, but uh, I believe Warlords, I'm pretty sure that that's a paddle game and that, that one's really good. Or like uh, Super Breakout, any of that kind of stuff. There's all kinds of cool like paddle games. Ah, shit. And you know you, you miss out on on those paddle games if you have a jittery, shitty ass controller that you can't fucking use. Whoa! Let's see if I can get over there. And after this, we'll mo we'll move on to the next game. But this is this is like a marvel to me being able to do this. Do, 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 do. And somebody, inevitably, I'm sure, has already in my chat mentioned the Seinfeld episode. I'll have to go back and say if anybody mentioned it. I feel like anytime you throw on Frogger, it's like, remember that Seinfeld? Can't talk about it without it. They had a shot where George is running across the street, and it looks like... Fuck. It looks like fuck. Ah. Looks like Frogger. Also, I had the Frogger. Ah, shit. Anyway, we'll move on to the next game. So, Frogger Adventure on Game Boy is a sexy game. Have a record of my Atari games? No, well, now, somebody is asking me if I have a, uh, keep score, my scores, like, written down. At this point, now that I do the streams, like, the scores are in the streams, I guess. I don't know. 
But I, I need to have a I need to have, do a stream where I get like really serious about like getting like high scores on Atari games. Usually when I do these, I just like pop games in and out. But I should really just like focus on like one game one day and just like try to get a high score. Um, all right, so we're gonna move on to another game here. Here we got. Ooh, how many of you guys have play, played Zone Ranger for Activision for Atari 5200? I'm sure a lot of you guys. How many? Come on. Um, all you guys in here have played Zone Ranger, right? Berserk for 5200? I have Berserk. We'll put Berserk on. Uh, I think I have Berserk. Let me see. Hang on. I got all these games down here. I have a lot of 5200 games, so I don't know if I'll be able to get through everything. Aha, Berserk. We do have Berserk, so I'll keep that out. Ah, fuck. Looks like I gotta... <sighs> gotta clean these. So, I've, I have noticed that they always need to be fucking cleaned. Um, some of the 5200 games have these ends on them, kind of like dust caps or something. Let me show this to you, actually. So here's, like, Missile Command. It has this, like, dust cap, and it, like... You can pop it in like that so it doesn't get like dusty and then but most of the games are like that where they get all like an NES game where it gets all dusty hopefully this works now Come on game you know you want to work Oh yeah it's Zone Ranger everybody's favorite <laughs> Thank you Ricky Force for the sub and Swag NYC what's the best Star Trek game ever made in your opinion says Nephi 69 um when I was a teenager I used to really like Star Trek Starfleet Academy uh, I don't know that that holds up as much anymore but prob but my answer is probably gonna be Star Trek Voyager Elite Force which is kind of like almost like a doom first person shooter kind of thing uh, I feel like that's probably the best Star Trek game. Um, there's also Super Star Trek from like 19, like the 70s, I think. <laughs> I think that's just like a text game. Uh, all right, Zone Ranger. Here we go. Activision. Once again, if you're just joining, I have a new 5200 controller. So here, let's try this. So this is like a, almost, almost got a shmup going on here. This actually controls really well, you would not believe. Got it. Who's next? Who's next? I don't really know what the goal here or anything is. So I haven't really had a chance to play much of these games before because I've never had a fucking controller that worked very well. I'm actually surprised how well this controls. It's like perfect, basically. That's surprising. Let's go. Ooh, war yeah. Warp, warp nine, motherfucker. What the hell's that? Whoa, look at this. Am I supposed to be avoiding these? I suppose. What if I hit that? Is that bad? No, it's a, like a collectible. That's a ship. Oh, I think that was an extra life. Actually, if I hit that wall, you think I die? I can't fire anything in here, by the way. Oh my god. Okay, those so those like push me away. It's like pinball almost. Is that another ship? No. You would never be able to do this with the fucking regular 5200 controller. That fucking thing. This is this is all right. This game's all right. What, what about that? Is that how it exits you back out to space? Okay. I don't know. All right, that's Zone Ranger. We can move on. I'm just gonna be playing this briefly because I have I have a lot of 5200 games. I actually have almost all of them, so I can't. I'm not gonna spend forever playing each one. Let's make a pile over here. I've already played. Next, we're gonna do. All right, we got James Bond. Uh, 007 James Bond. Da 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 da. 
Yeah. You think now? Do you think this is gonna be as good as the N64 game? Or Nightfire or any of those? Hopefully, I don't have to clean it. It's like every one of these. It's like I have to clean them. Thank you, Kingslayer, Woogie Poo for the sub. Oh my God. To the Atari 5200 and another month of subbing. What a legend of a stream. Thank you very much. I, this is a legendary stream because I'm playing the fucking 5200. I've waited 20 years to do this. So, by the way, well, I tell you what, like last night I was testing the games out, but like this is basically the first time I'm really getting to fucking do this. So, this is like the first time I'm ever really getting to play the fucking 5200 and play it like for real. Thank you, X Abbott Zero, for this sub. Do you got Popeye for 5200 or Zaxxon? I think I have them both. Popeye, Popeye. Uh, Popeye and Zaxxon, yes. We'll, we'll get to those. All right, let's try this out. This is James Bond for 5200. Let's see how this is like. Hey, it's got the music. It's got his car. Good luck, Mr. Bond. All right, here we go. Oh, it... Like, uh, Moon Patrol? It's a Moon Patrol. It's a Moon Patrol clone? That's... <laughs> I thought I thought it was gonna be a guy running around. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be like James Bond with a gun running around, like you would expect. Not, not what I, not what I expected. What the fuck? Well, it's what do you expect, I guess, right? Oh god, it's like a shitty Moon Patrol clone too. Actually, you know what's funny? I think Moon Patrol is on 5200. I should put that on. I should put that on after this. All right, so let's see. What, what are you even supposed to fucking do here? Kill this ship? Can, can I even? This is so bad. M Mr. Bond. What do you think about this game, Mr. Bigglesworth? Wow. This is not at all what I wanted this game to be. Look at this, these effects. Oh my god. Oh, now I'm, a, now I'm a, at a boat? Oh, motherfucker! Submarine motherfucker. Alright, so that's James Bond. I don't know. That's not really what I was expecting. I mean, it works. <laughs> that That's my criteria for a good 5200 game. Well, it works. Alright, what else do we got? Uh... A lot of games, a lot of games. Let's see. Let's do, let's just, whatever I grab, I guess. Here, Pitfall. Oh, this is Pitfall 2. Pitfall 2. Let's try that out. Pitfall 2, I used to have on Atari 2600, and I, I always actually really liked Pitfall 2. Do I have Kangaroo? So ask Broom Hatter. Let me see. I think I do. Oh, you know what else? I forgot to mention, um, years ago, oh, I gotta fix that, um, years ago, uh, I had a fan give me 5200 end labels, so let me show you guys the end labels, so here's, here's Kangaroo, if it wants to focus, see, so I got end labels, so they don't come with end la labels normally, they, they made them up for me, alright, let me see if I can get this going. Thank you, Shalizer, for the sub. Remember the 007 movie where Bond drove a jumping car on the moon shooting at spacecrafts? I might I'll have to clean this one. Man. You know what I should do? Actually, though, I should put in, uh, I should put in Moon Patrol if I have that. Hang on. Because Moon Patrol, oh, see, this one I probably don't have to clean because it has that nice dust cover thing. Let's see if it works. Aha, see? It was such a good idea that they did those dust covers. They, I wish all the fucking 5200 games had that. 
All right, so. Come on. Lord, oh my lord. All right, hang on. Original hardware, folks. Come on. You're, you're, you guys are doing this with me. It's like you're experiencing what I'm experiencing. That's, this is what happens. Come on. Copyright 19. Good old copyright 19. The fuck? Okay, Moon Patrol doesn't want to work. One more try. One more try on Moon Patrol. Some of them, uh... I need to be clean better or whatever. Oh shit, I think I got it. Third time's the charm, as they say. Come on now, don't fuck up on me. There we go, all right. It, so, I can see the capture over there. It actually comes up on my computer before it comes up on my TV. All right, here we go. Moon Patrol, let's do this. Wait, can I jump somehow? Hang on, it's not letting me jump. Come on, seriously? Nothing. Hang on a second. Moon Patrol might not work. Let me try it again. I can't seem to jump for some reason. Try pressing up to jump. No, I am trying to press up to jump. It's not doing it. I don't know. All right. Well, we saw it. Won't it won't go? Let's try something else. What else do we got? How about let's see. You know what's funny? We all know about the how the Atari. You know, you know about ET on Atari. And the other big one was uh, Pac-Man on Atari. And people was always say, you know, the Pac-Man on 2600 was like a shitty port. Let's see how the 5200 version fared compared to the arcade. Maybe it'll be better. Maybe. All right, let's see. I'm going to have to adjust the controls and stuff. Okay, I think I got it. I had to adjust the vertical. I want to call it the vertical. I don't know what to actually call it. There's probably a technical name for it, but the, the dial. I had to adjust the dial. This isn't half bad. I mean, the ghosts are not flickering. Oh shit. Like on the 2600 version. Here, hang on. I'm starting it over. Wait, can I start it over? Oh, that's the high score, all right. I gotta be careful, because the button on the side just totally... Oh, he didn't fucking grab that? No, we're starting over again. The button on the side just totally restarts the entire game, so if I accidentally hit that, I'm like, I'll be like really into the game. Get like a, I'll be about to get the high score and then accidentally hit that. I wanna have a good game of Atari 5200 Pac-Man. That's my goal right now. I used to play uh, Miss Pac-Man on my Commodore 64. I always liked that version a lot for some reason. Probably not so much for the game, but probably for the monitor. I, I always loved the Commodore 64 monitor, the 1602, I think it was, or 1702 or something. I always forget the number on it. That monitor had a very unique and particular look to it, and I always like loved how games looked on that. I still have one. Sometimes I'll sometimes I like to just play whatever uh, any like anything on it. It just has a very uh, very unique look to it. It's very nostalgic from growing up with that. Am I gonna get trapped? Yeah. The 1702 monitor. Yeah. Thank you, Black Ice. 1702. You just play Miss Pac-Man or Pac-Man on Genesis? 
There's so many. Ver I mean, every system ever made pretty much had some kind of version of Pac-Man, didn't it? I wonder if there was ever a system. You know what? I just thought, I already thought of it. I can name a system that did not have a Pac-Man game. You know what it is? The Hyperscan. There was no Pac-Man game on the Hyperscan. You know if your system didn't even get a goddamn Pac-Man port of any type, then that, that's a problem. I mean, even the, like the PlayStation has like the fucking Pac-Man Championship and all that, right? It's like there's always some kind of Pac-Man going on. But what do you expect out of the fucking hyperscan? I mean, ah, oh, shit. Did Sega, did Sega have any Pac-Man ports? Y yes, they did. I believe they did. I think I have some, I have some of them sitting in the thing over there. I'm pretty sure. Pac-Man on Genesis, I believe. Miss pa Miss Pac-Man on Genesis, right? Now you have me learn. Usually when I go to play Pac-Man, I, I usually do the Atari versions. Like, I was I liked, a lot of people don't like it, but I, I like, oh, here you go. By the way, people say I don't like cutscenes. This is the best cutscene of all time right here. The reason I have a problem with cutscenes is that no cutscene, that was, that right there is the, pretty much the first cutscene ever. Um, no cutscene after that was ever as good. That's the best cutscene. Nobody's topped it yet, in my opinion. What, like, what else do you need? He's chasing him. You got the whole story right there. It's good versus evil. It's the same thing as any of your, you know, your superhero movies. You're like, what happens? Batman's got to catch the Joker, or whatever. You like your Batman movies? Iron Man has to kill, you know, fucking whoever. It's the same thing. Pac-Man's got to catch the ghosts. Ninja Gaiden cutscenes are good, but I don't know. I think that I think I think Pac-Man takes the cake. What's all this about the Pac-Man cutscene? What what is it about the Pac-Man cutscene? It it it's amazing. Have you not seen it? Go check go check it out. This fucking pink ghost. Here we go, here we go. Oh, is it gonna change colors? Is what I wanna know. Does it ever change colors? See, I think this might be the same thing, like over and over, and that I don't like. I like when the levels change. Even the Atari 2600 version changed colors and fruit and stuff. So hang on a second. Maybe this one sucks. Now, when I say that, I mean Miss Pac-Man on Atari 2600 and Junior Pac-Man. So you're telling me that Miss Pac-Man on 2600 is better than the 5200 Pac-Man? It seems so. But... There is Miss Pac-Man, so I guess we have to check that out if I can get it working. That's that. Let's do. Let's throw on Miss Pac-Man to see the. Let's do the comparison now. We're gonna do the. We're gonna do all the Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man, Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man, Junior Pac-Man, Super Pac-Man, Pac and Pal, um, Pac-Mania, Pac and Time, all that shit. All right, let's do Miss Pac-Man. Here we go. This looks like it might be better. Hang on, I gotta adjust it. Huh? I, I'm adjust. I'm not even playing right now. I'm just adjusting the control first. Okay, I think I got it now. Let me start it over now. That's like, that's good. Oh, can I not just like restart it by hitting the fucking thing now? Here, I'll talk to the chat for a second. Let's let let's let this fuck. No, you know what? Fuck it. I'll just gonna play. Fuck it. I thought. That
thought that the button on the side would restart this game the same way. Some of the games, uh, you just hit the button on the side and it just totally restarts the game, but not this one, apparently. Uh, you know what? The controls still are a little fucky. Hang on. They're still weird. I gotta, I gotta adjust them more. Yeah, hang on. Fuck, I wish I had a second to fucking fuck with this. So wait, this one's vertical and this one's horizontal. Hang on a second. There, now it's gone. It's so fucking finicky. Hopefully the vertical's good. No! Shit. Oh! Oh! Motherfucker. Here, now I have to do this again now the controls are better. Because I want to see if it, I want to see if it like goes to a different color screen. Alright, here we go. I think the controls are set now. I'm a little worried about the vertical. I'll explain that again. Basically, uh, the 5200 controller fucking sucked. And I had a lot of trouble with the vertical and horizontal. Which is kind of like the thing with controllers. You think you'd, you think you'd get that down, but... Imagine pushing right on a controller, like, and it goes left. I mean, that's pretty much what happens with the 52 under it. Either that, or you just get nothing. If you're using the original fucking controller. That was common as well. Just, just nothing. Just dead. Fuck these motherfuckers. I, th I think I got it set now. It seems to be good. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Almost got this, almost got this. Yes! Oh no, he got me! Come on! Well, one dot! Lousy fuck. That was bullshit. So if I beat this screen, I would be curious. Fuck me. I need, I need to beat this. I don't care about score right now. I just want to see if like different fruit come out and shit. I mean, I could just like look at somebody playing it on fucking YouTube or emulator or something, but that's not fun. I like to find out for myself. All right, we got like a strawberry on this stage. Let's see what happens. They meet. Ah! Look at this brilliant, brilliant cutscene here. And it does. So, okay. So, the Miss Pac Man version is not too bad. So, th this, this is like, this is definitely pretty, pretty good. Definitely better than the other one. The regular Pac Man is not that great. I would say, I would say play Miss Pac-Man. All right, that's enough. I just wanted to check that out. So, not bad. We got a winner there with that. Uh, let's move on for now from Pac-Man. I got other Pac-Man shit here. Let's do... Oh, there's so many fucking games. Um, let's do... Oh, you know what? I was gonna do... Where's that Pitfall game? Oh, I, you know what? I have regular Pitfall, and I have Pitfall, too. Let's do Pitfall games. Let's see if I can get regular Pitfall to work. That would be great. Blow on it. That's right. People say, you're not supposed to blow on it. You know what? You can blow it as long as you want. Just blow it and blow it and blow it. IR, 3Mix, 3D. Thank you very much for the sub. 
All right, so this is the 5200 version of Pitfall. Let's give this a shot. I'm gonna have to adjust the controls first, as usual. All right, that seems to work. All right, I think it's good, actually. I like how his jump sounds like a whistle. This is very similar to the 2600 one. See, one of the things that's sort of interesting or exciting, I guess, exciting to me, is that if the version is... If you had the same game on 2600 compared to the 5200, I would hope that the 5200 would be like consider, considerably better. But this one seems like barely any different. Like, it's, honestly, it seems like the same game almost. Which, that's a little disappointing. Because on the 2600, I grew up playing Pitfall. Um, I think I think Jack Black is in the commercial for Pitfall, if, if that's the right game. So you collect the gold. Looks like an office worker rocking some slacks. I always thought those were combos. Like the food, like uh, the food combos, you know? Uh, and I think there's specific like ways to go to collect the gold. I don't really remember. I got, like, I think you can like make a map to try to get every piece of gold or something. I did that once, a long time ago. Let's try going down the ladder, I don't know. Oh, you motherfucker. Come on. Ah, what are you gonna do now, Scorpion? Oh, and that was it. It wasn't worth fucking doing at all. Well, fuck me. But I guess they're just supposed to be logs, though. Do 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 do. You stand there on the like the eye, the head, you're good. Anyway, you get the idea. That's pitfall. You can play it longer and like try to like get collect all the gold pieces and whatnot. Uh let's see if I can get Pitfall 2 working. Pitfall 2 I always kinda liked a little better. I hope it comes on. Please, please, please. Motherfucker. I got. I had this game working yesterday. I'm gonna fucking try to get this to work. Ba -da 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 -da. I need the cleaning shit. The cleaning shit. We're going for a deep clean on Pitfall 2. Well, you guys read any good books lately? Ha! <laughs> Why I clean this? Great game. Oh, you played uh, Pitfall 2, Ty? Let's try this again. Come on. You read once, never again. Oh, shit, it's coming on. Good. That's cool, Nate. Where'd you get that from? Atari Jaguar Everdrive when? You know what? I believe they're making uh, Jaguar Everdrive, actually. I'll, I'm going to do a, a, a Jaguar stream. I'll, I'll, I'll get to it. Anyway, so here we have Pitfall, the Lost Caverns. I always thought that that was a monkey there, but I think it's supposed to be a kangaroo. Ooh, would you like to buy a monkey? So this game has checkpoints. If you get hit, you get sent back to that cross, which is the checkpoint. And music, wow. Imagine that. Thank you, David Crane.
Fuck you, frog. Yeah. All right, that's one piece of gold. I think I do like this one better. I forget where all the pieces of the gold are, but you get all the pieces of the gold and then you make it to the monkey. I don't know. I don't know what the hell the story is. <laughs> what is the story of Pitfall 2? And that's the checkpoint, so if I die there, I'll go back to that checkpoint. Pitfall 2 on 2600 has music too. Yeah, it does. The 2600 version was the one that I played growing up. Shit. Say watch. And you lose score. That's how they do it. You like fly back to the checkpoint. It's funny. Instead of just like appearing back there. shit. You keep going and you keep collecting all the gold. It's good though. I like that game. Let's move on. We got a lot of games to get through, so. Alright, next we're gonna look at, how about, who remembers River Raid? River Raid. Let's take a look at that one. For the 5200. I used to like playing it on the 2600. I don't know if the this version is uh, much different at all. Thank you, PB Doughboy, for the sub. Yo, Pitfall. All right, cool. It's working. Once again, got a new controller. Check it out. All right, here we go. Well, right off the bat, I can see that they added more of an outline around the water. All right, let's go. Oh, hang on. I got to adjust the fucking controls. I think I got it. Let me start again. All right, here we go. So the idea with River Raid, you're in a, you're in a ship, a jet, and you keep like running out of gas. So you can fill up the gas by running through the fuel like that. It, it brings your tank up, and then you just shoot stuff and see how far you can make it and see how far how you can get your score basically. And the, the hard thing with this game gets to be, the further you get, the less fuel canisters they, they'll give you. So you kinda gotta, uh... Ooh. Oh, oh they, they added balloons. The, the hot air balloons, I don't think were in the 2600 version. I haven't seen that before. And you can pull back and move forward and go fast. So like, this is me going real slow. And then you can push forward and that uses more fuel. So now I'm going fast. That kind of thing. Shit. I always thought this game was pretty fun. I always like River Raid. This one seems to work well for 5200, which is nice to see. I like that they at least added in, in some kind of new thing to shoot. 
these hot air balloons. I don't think they're in the 2600 one. All right, I'm gonna play this one more time. Thank you, Rad Boomer, for the sub. Now the next thing somebody's gotta do is put a pause button on this controller. I don't know, I wonder if that's even possible. Motherfucker, come on. No Spider-Man on 5200. After the 2600, they were like, ah, I think we're done with Spider-Man for a while. I still like this game. It's simple, but I mean, it's, it's fun. I wonder if that's just a 50. I don't know if that can happen on the 2600. See, now I don't. Oh, motherfucking. I think that's new, too. I haven't seen that before. The fucking tanks are shooting. Yeah, that's fucking. Oh, motherfucker. I had never seen that before. See, that is the kind of shit where. Um, that's the kind of shit where. Uh, that's cool for me to see because that, that it doesn't do that on 2600. That's that's cool. I like that they added shit. I have to fix some of these labels. Do, 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 do. What do we got next? Um, how about the good old Mario Bros? It's the Mario Bros and Plumbing's the game, not like the others who get all the fame. You're one in a million. Thank you, Rad Boomer, again. Can we get a remake on PS5 of River Raid? There should be. All right, let's see how Mario Bros. goes. There was a Nintendo game on the Atari 5200. Wow. How often, how many times a week do you think Miyamoto thinks about the 5200 version of Mario Brothers? How many times a week? Adjust the controls there a little bit. What? Oh, that's right. I gotta fucking kick him after that. Here. Oh, he jumps out of the shell? That's. I didn't expect an animation like that. Damn. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Pretty good. No more pow. Damn it. This is always a game that's, uh, you want to play with two people, really, but it's cool to see this. Two player 5200 games, wow. You know what, I have to get another uh, one of these controllers to do that. Maybe I will. I think there needs to be more two player 5200 streams on Twitch. As far as I'm concerned, that's all Twitch should really be. But I'll be, I'll be the one. Wouldn't that be crazy if like, you come back to Twitch in a year and that's all people stream is two-player 5200 games? What do you think the chances are of that happening? Pretty good, right? Pretty good. I mean, after they see, after they see this, I mean, how, how will they be able to resist? 
So, Mario Brothers. That's cool. I played the original arcade game of that. It's actually really fun. Alright. Um, I like it better than on Super Mario Brothers 3. So, uh, another thing I should mention. So, just so you guys know, Kaboom is on the Atari 50 uh, t 200, but... This the kaboom doesn't work because you need paddles and this control this is not a paddle controller and neither is the trackball so I do not I still don't have a paddle uh, like solution for kaboom so that's so I can't really do kaboom unfortunately that's all right I, I don't think that version gonna be as good as the 2600 one anyway so we're gonna pick something else uh, how about all right, we're gonna play this game. I bet, I bet you, this is a game that you all remember. I mean, so so far we've looked at Frogger, Pac-Man, Pitfall, all that kind of stuff. Right now we're gonna look at a game that you all remember very well, without a doubt. This is, uh, if it will focus, this is the Dreadnought Factor. Who doesn't remember that? You all remember the Dreadnought Factor, of course. Here we go. Might play more Hyperscan. I played. E Every, I played the entire library of Hyperscan games on that stream, so. Hey, and it's working, good. All right. Let's check this out. Let's turn this up a little bit. Oh, all right. I'm like blowing apart a fucking Star Destroyer. My kind of game. Oh, I got like bombs. Can I blow up his engines? What is this, like, don't let them get to Earth, basically? Oh, shit. Where is it? Oh, here we go. All right, so. So I got these bombs I can, like, drop. Kill everything on this fucking ship. It looks like there's little faces. It's weird. fucking blowing up here. Okay. What the fuck is going on? I'm running out of fuel. Oh, that, I missed that one. What about these things on the ground? I need to get this here. Cool. How many more fucking things are there to blow up? Oh, I didn't mean these things I gotta get. Is that it? What am I missing? I don't know. Ah, shit, I don't even see what I'm missing. The fuck did I... Oh, right there. That's what I missed. This, this might be it. Oh! Seizure inducing... Fuck. 
fuck them. That's right. Victory, motherfucker. I'm beating all those 5,200 games today. All right, that's a dreadnought factor. I would, if it, hey, you know what? If it was 1981 or whatever, that probably would have been pretty good. Dreadnought factor. Pretty sweet. Those sounds, those sounds. Boom, boom. All right. Now, getting back to uh, games that you actually probably have heard of, here is, uh, here is Zenji, everybody's favorite for the 5200. You guys like when I play obscure games. Here you go. Hopefully it works. I, don't, I have no idea what this one is. I've had this game sitting in the box for about 20 years. So, move the face. Wait, what? With the button down, the joystick can spin the pass left or right. Oh. You know what? Um, I play something like this on like NES too, I think. So you spin the things. Controls out. It's weird. Controls are a little weird, but basically it's like, there's a game like that that's on NES, I think, where it's like, just like, get the fucking flow of the pipes going in the right direction. Um, somebody before was asking for Zaxxon. Let's see if we can get Zaxxon. I like that art. It's like Flash, old Flash Gordon or something. Ugh, this game fits in there weird. That's what she said. What a weird game. Yeah, it was weird. The controls on that Zenji thing were a little, I don't know. Not great. Come on, game. Come on, game. You know you want to work. What the fuck? It's like they made the cartridge like slightly too. It like it fits, but it barely fits. If I push it in hard enough, it'll fit. Is it gonna come up? Ah, here we go. Okay, so Zaxxon is like a uh, isometric shmup kind of, from what I remember here. All right. Oh my God. I never really liked Zaxxon much, but we'll check it out for a minute. It's been Zaxxon's on, on like everything. It's just it's never been my favorite, but it's it's all right, I guess. I respect them for trying uh, the isometric view. I mean, this this works well at least. can't adjust the height in this area, I guess. Fucker. I'm gonna play this one more time. Maybe I am. Oh, look at that text. Yeah. 
Bron J. Forter. One more. See, so on the left there, that's like showing the adjustment of the height. There's a little line on top on the top that like shows you where you're at. Oh, what? It blew up like down there. The fuck. This game's fucked up. if it's gonna go back to like the, oh yeah here it is here we go this is what I was curious of okay so it does go back it's like it's like you're going through like like a star base what do I gotta how do you fucking even get through that do I gotta get through the middle of it oh god damn it I don't know it's like you're going from a star base to like outer space this game like Literally, is like stuck in here. What the fuck? Why? Jesus. Why is Zaxxon like that? They made the cartridge like slightly too much. All right, let's do some Dig Dug. Come on, Dig Dug. Thank you, Ubi Disco, for the sub. Oh look, it's 5200. It is. Dig Dug, here we go. Donkey Kong. What's up, EMS? <laughs> I wrote that line, Xenoka. Just put some lube in it, that'll fix it. That's true. I just gotta I just gotta lube up these. Uh, let's see if uh, I can get some lube down here. I'm gonna lube up Dig Dug. All right, here we go. Might have to adjust the shit a little bit. Let me do that first. Well, it seems like it's working actually. I think it's good. time. Come on. Yeah! Fuck you! My plan worked. What's that? Is that a fucking fruit? I'm getting that. Come on. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you gonna do now, motherfucker? Yeah, blow up, bitch! Oh. Dig, Dig Dug works quite well. Nice to see. The other guys are like, like, like they, they're like wannabe Goombas. 
Isn't it weird how they turn into like little blob mask things? It's like a pig nose, actually, or something. Walking potatoes, perhaps, yes. Perhaps walking potatoes. I had to turn it down just a little bit. supposed to indicate anything because everyone is that like the the level you're on or something fuck 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 oh my god son of a bitch Is there a backstory to why you're murdering them? Um, so they are what is known in media, um, video games, movies, novels, books. Um, they are what is known as uh, evil. Evil bad things, I believe is their technical name. Murder you, bitch. I'll stick my hose right down your fucking throat. Look how many fucking flowers there are. Motherfuckers. Poor little dinosaurs. Well, they're dragons, I think. I think they're dragons. life, huh? Shouldn't have went for the boulder. That's Dig Dug. Dig Dug works very well. Okay, cool. So we have many. I have many more games to go through here. Let's see. Uh, how about some Jungle Hunt? Thank you, Ryan Silver, for the sub. You can't believe I've been on Twitch for almost three years. Yeah, well, I've been streaming since 2015. All right, Jungle Hunt. One of my favorites, at least on the 2600. Let's see how different this one is. Probably not much. Well, more like Jungle King. More like the arcade game, which is Jungle King. I believe it was Jungle Hunt and Jungle King. Like it was like a rename for some reason. Go Pitfall. Go 
basically just like a lot more detailed. Great sound effects. Like a Daffy Duck hacking up a lung. He has a little knife. You can make out that he actually has a knife now. Not like in 2600. It's definitely like way more detailed. You don't get this level of detail on other consoles, guys. No, no you don't. And I know you can get points by fucking hitting the alligators. I'm just not doing it. Because I'll probably get killed if I try that. We're going under... The jellyfish, I guess? Ah. And we made it to the end. Let's see how this goes. This is where I'm gonna die. Oh my god. Oh, come on. Holy shit. Shit's getting crazy. Whoa. So you hit up on the controller with when you jump, but it helps. No big boulders in this one? Maybe they got rid of it because people had too much trouble with the big boulders. In the 2600 version. Oh, wait, no, that's a bigger boulder. Oh, fuck me. No! How long does this go on? It's enough now. It's enough! No more boulders. Fuck. Oh, oh, oh! Son of a bitch. You see what they... Ah! supposed to do this oh my god no oh I backed up into the motherfucker oh shit 16 look at my score it's about right it's about right all right I'm gonna take I'm gonna take a quick break I'll come back and we will play some more Atari 5200 after these messages we'll be right back
I am back once again. Uh, if you have just joined in the last little bit, I'm going to go through really briefly what's going on. Um, you might want to check this stream later, and I gave the full explanation. But basically, the, the original, I'll just do this quickly now. The original Atari 5200 controller um, sucked. So then I got, I would get the Wicco controller, which would like kind of work. I mean, like, no, you can like lock it on the bottom. It, it like works a little bit. Um, a fan sent me this, which kind of worked. You could plug a Sega Genesis controller into it. But it, it wasn't like perfect. Uh, so eventually, now I have this, and it's working quite well. I, I guess I'll do Jungle Hunt one more time. So I finally, after all these years, 20 years later, literally have a, a working Atari. You know what? Actually, I'm going to switch to the next game. We just we played a full game of. Uh, I only have about another hour, so um, I want to try to get through as many games as possible. Here, uh, so I'm, I'm a little bit limited time. Uh, let's do, let's take a look at Space Invaders. Hopefully I can get through all the rest of the games I have. I have about 90, 85% of the 5200 games, so hopefully we can get through most of them here. All right, this is Space Invaders. Now, I love the 2600 version of Space Invaders. Actually, it's actually one of my favorite Atari 2600 games, believe it or not. I know it's like, ooh, Space Invaders, like big deal, but for whatever reason, it's really fun. I get like very addicted to it. This controls actually really, really well. Because I want to see like what this is like compared to that one. And actually, this is this actually feels really good. I was going to be a little bit more critical of this one because... I like the 2600 version a lot, but actually maybe this version's just as good. There's a game on GameCube, I'm not gonna remember the title of it, but it's trying to be like a Space Invaders game and it's fucking ass. I played it on here when I did the uh, N64, or I'm sorry, uh, it was on GameCube, I mean. I guess shit, some shitty fucking like wannabe like Space Invaders thing, it was like awful. Cool. That was a fun stream, though, the N64 stream. I'm glad we finally got to do the fuck hyperscan stream the other day. I've been wanting to do that for a while. I've been wanting to do this stream for 20 fucking years. Not stream, but I wanted to play Atari 5200 with a, with a working uh, controller for 20 years. Fuck. So this, war this is pretty good. This is a pretty good version of uh, Space Invaders, I think. Oh, shit. Fuck. Does that come back? It does. Okay. Oh, look at these things flipping around. Flipping, flopping fishes. Yeah, I... I <laughs> look at the guys flipping around up top. I, I like the little... They, so they changed the... Those look like two... The third row, the purple ones, look like two people kissing. Or they're fucking, like, uh... Their tongue down each other's throats. That's funny. I, li I like this version. This isn't this isn't bad. I'm gonna move on because I got a lot of games to get to, but that's cool. I'm glad to see that's not a bad version of Space Invaders. Uh, fuck me. All right, let's do. Somebody asked for kangaroo earlier. Let's see if that works. Do 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 do. Butt plug controller. Yeah, the Wico controller looks like that. Wico, Wico, whatever. How is it captured? This looks very interesting. Ask Andy JB. So, um, I have a modded Atari 5200 with AV. It's not an HDMI mod or AV or anything, but the backside is AV modded. So that is going into a frame meister and that's going into the PC basically. All right, so this is Kangaroo. I think it was Broom Hatter who was asking for this earlier.
Here he goes. Wait a second. The control, hang on a second. The controls are a little fucky here. Alright, I think it's good. Hopefully. Speedy delivery. Thank you very much. Duck. Okay, so you can duck. My doorbell used to sound like that. My house. Mom! I'm gonna go ahead and say that this version seems better than the 2600 one. I always have, ah, I always have a lot of trouble with the controls on the 2600 version. And this thing here, like, it looks, like, since the graphics are, like, ever so slightly better, it actually helps quite a bit. You can kind of tell what things are a little bit more. Fuck. Jumps are hard to make. Is that it? Alright, I'm gonna play one more time. So yeah, this is Kangaroo. I had this game as a kid uh, for the 2600. It was an arcade game. I always liked Kangaroo. I like that it's a kangaroo with a boxing glove. I just, I like the theme of it. I like that you're eating strawberries. It's a cute game. Reminds me of, uh, there's, oh God, I'm not gonna think, think of the name of it, but there's another cool one where you're like, an old arcade game uh, where you're like shooting arrows. Shit, fuck. At like pigs or something like that. I can't think of the name of it. That, that's kinda, that's a cool game too. It always reminds me of this one. Fuck. Throwing these fucking apples at me. Did I also have kangaroo? Did I also have a kangaroo? I wish I had a kangaroo. You guys you ever see that video of that kangaroo like punching that guy or, or whatever the guy punches the kangaroo? Wow, I can't fucking get anywhere now. Hang on. Now I, I need to fucking do this. I see, the thing is, I got a lot of games to get through, but <laughs> some of these I want to play. Well, I'll come back again and do, a, someday I'll do another 5200 stream and we'll spend a little more time on specific games. What I'd actually really like to do, I'll get another one of these controllers and maybe when we come back for James and Mike Mondays, maybe I'll, we'll do a James and Mike Monday Atari 5200 video. I, I'm, I'd like to do that too. Hopefully. Come on, get up there. There we go. Oh, no, get him. Mad Stalker, yes it is, AV modded. It, I got it done like 15 years ago or something. It's it's good enough. I'm sure there's a better mod, but... By this point. It's good enough. This is the fact that I'm, it's working. Actually, Mad Stalker, I'll show you in a second. Just give me one fuck. Hang on. I'm trying to do this right now. God damn it. Uh, this is the controller there. Now, I got a new controller. Joystick controller, whatever. Arcade stick. Dude, no! Oh, I got stuck on the stairs. God damn it. In my last life. Oh my god, that jump is like impossible. All right, I have to move on. We'll, we'll someday we'll play more of that. Um, I, I like that game. I always have. All right, let's do. We got Mega Mania. Mega Mania. Oh, look at that. Look how cool that. It looks like a little bit like uh, Paul Rubens. Ha ha. Yeah, but there you go. That's the controller. So for you guys. 
um, that didn't see the beginning of the stream. Basically, I have to sometimes adjust these knobs here <laughs> to um, do the vertical and horizontal for the controller. Go, go, gadget. Puyan. Yes, Nikki Fogg. That's what I was thinking of. I can never remember the name of it. That's exactly what I was thinking of. And then there's Pengo. Oh, come on. You gotta work. Mega Mania. That son of a bitch. Hang on. I had this game working earlier. I tested out like half of these games earlier to make sure that they would work, and is it funny that now they're not? How are you guys doing? <laughs> Watch any good movies lately? Read any good books lately? <sighs> Sorry, just give me a second. This fucking this cart is dirty as shit. Oh my god. Okay. Speaking of uh, reading good books, I've been reading some good books lately. You guys been reading any good books? You guys want to see the books that I've been reading? Um, I have two separate books that I've been reading, actually, um, off, and, off and on. Um, here, I'll show you, show you the books I've been reading. So this is one, one of the books I've been reading. Really good, really good novel here. And then uh, this, this is the other book I've been reading. See, you can tell the book is very, very well, well worn. <laughs> and we have uh, Doctor Doctor Beverly Crusher, <laughs> Seven of Nine, and Captain Catherine Janeway. Dark, dark passions. Hmm. That's part of my. I will have to show you guys all my Star Trek books. I have. I thought that those were like really fucking funny. Um, I'll show you uh, one of these days. I'll show you all the Star Trek books I have. I have them uh, all. I think I have all the Star Trek books. There's there's like about a hundred thousand of them. I think I have them all. Now let's keep moving here. This is Mega Mania. Check this out. We're gonna be speaking of Star Trek. That little ship there. I think that might be the Starship Enterprise. And I don't remember the Star Trek episode where they were shooting cheeseburgers, but there should have been one where they were shooting cheeseburgers. All the people that don't like Star Trek would have liked Star Trek a lot better if instead of Cardassians, they were attacking cheeseburgers. See, people say, oh, Mike, you don't like the J.J. Abrams movies? What would you do so much better than J.J. Abrams? I would have the Enterprise attacking cheeseburgers, of course. Come on, how hard is it? I mean, really. And the ship is shooting uh, relish, perhaps? Mayo? Mayo. I think the ship is shooting mayo. You don't need phasers or photon torpedoes when you have a full volley of mayo. What Now, what the hell is this that I'm shooting here? Are these, like, ice cream sandwiches? I don't even know. They might be. Ooh. Luggies. we got and now it's oh there's tires it is what it is the, the, the thing that keeps you going with this game is like ooh what's the next thing gonna be it's like you play like Taz on Atari 2600 and every screen is like a different fucking like one, one thing's like an ice cream cone one thing's a Whatever. 
fucking popsicle or some shit, and you're like, I want to know what the next thing's gonna be. What is it gonna be? Is it gonna be? Is it gonna be another popsicle, or is it gonna be a pickle? It might be a pickle. I better keep playing for another hour to say, fuck. And we've been vaporized by the Romulans. Boom. Let's see what the next thing is. Are those like wedding rings? I don't even know. Actually, they look like. Should I tell you what they look like? <laughs> they look like fucking vaginas with a clit on top. There you go. Ha! -ha! Better move on to the next game. Speaking of uh, Star Trek Voyager Dark Passions, um, there's a there's a good um, section of the book that talks about. Well, well I'll tell you about that later. Um, I'm gonna, let's play Super Pac-Man. Super Pac-Man. Super Pac-Man. Now this is not an official Atari 5200 game. I believe that this is a homebrew hack thing that I got at some point. Because um, I don't believe Super Pac-Man ever came out. I think this. I'm pretty sure from my memory. I pretty. I think this was made later. So or I, or maybe it wasn't an Atari 1984. Maybe it. Maybe it did. I don't. Now I don't know. Or maybe it was like a prototype game that they finished or something like that. Now I don't remember. Does anybody in here know? You 5,200 people. Somebody probably knows. Anyway, let's try this out. There's some kind of deal with this game. Okay, so Super Pac-Man is a game where, hang on, is a game where I have to first adjust the controls. You get these keys, and the keys take down the doors. One of the very, very early streams I did was me playing this on MAME, I think. People say, Mike, you, Mike doesn't like emulators. Really? Because one of the first streams I ever did was me, like, playing on fucking MAME. Anyway, um, so you get the keys. The keys take down these yellow doors. And the reason the game is called, and, and you got to eat the apples or whatever, but the reason the game is called Super Pac-Man is because you can get these big pack pellets and... They can have you go through the ghosts and through through the doors. You can eat the doors with when you become Super Pac-Man. There's also Baby Pac-Man. Oh, speaking of Baby Pac-Man, I gotta tell you guys something about Baby Pac-Man. Hold up a second. I can't pause this right now, can I? Ooh, bananas. Well, you get the idea. But speaking of Baby Pac-Man. Yes, I got some baby Pac-Man right here. Check him, check him out. There he is. Speaking of baby fucking Pac-Man. Uh, here, let's see how I can beat this level. So it's like any of these fucking games. The, th the thing I'm always waiting for is what is the next thing going to be? We got bananas. What's next? No, one method you could have with this game is you can go around and collect all the keys to, to drop the doors. It's one thing you could do. Like, like go around and collect all the keys first. Get all the doors down before you do anything else. Shit. There you go. Let's eat them up. Eat them all up and don't forget to chew. Now you're doing the hoodly hoo. Get some burgers and a pound of cheese. Fuck. Oh, and that's it. I'm dead. Oh, all right. I guess we're not going to see the third level. I got to move on. Moving to the next game. Uh, we're going to do... Oh, I mentioned... Pango before. Pango the penguin. There he is. Isn't that cute? Who's this motherfucker down there? What's that motherfucker doing? That green guy down there coming out of the ice? What the hell's he doing? He's breaking out of the ice? Why is he breaking out of the ice? He's so angry. He's got like a carrot nose. What the fuck's going on there? Is he laughing at him or is he scared of him? I don't know. Let's try it out. Just an enemy. Swallow those bananas. Yes. I was doing that. I was, I was doing a great job until I died. UFOs. It was baby shit pickle. Why is the penguin red? I, have you never had a pet baby red penguin? What the hell? Let's try this out. Now we got Pango. I probably have to adjust the controls again. Actually, it seems all right. Got that. 
probably the penguin is red because the background of the game was gonna be black. So I bet that's why they made the penguin red. Or maybe they, maybe there's another reason, but they're like, we, if the ice is gonna be, they probably didn't want blue ice on a white background. So they probably wanted it on the black background. So they're like, we don't want the penguin to be black on a black background. That would be my guess as to why he's red. And then the ice is already blue, so they needed something in contrast to that. So they're like, okay, instead of blue, he's gonna be like either like red or green or something like that. So they went, they went with red. So that's my guess onto why the penguin in Pango is probably blue. Shit. Motherfucker. What is this thing, though? Son of a bitch. Whoa, what is going on? Holy shit. The fuck is happening? It's just everything's like exploding and shit? I don't fucking know. I don't know what did I do? Oh my god. The fucking bastards got me. It's like an explosive block or something. I feel like there, there's something, there's something I don't know about this. Son of a bitch. All right, kill him. I think it's, as long as I use the blue box, if, if they're like those red glowy blocks, I think it's problematic. Fuck. Fuck! Son of a bitch. I beat this level. Oh, I'm fucked. There's, no, like, there's nothing I can even do now, right? Yeah, I'm done. Well, fuck me then. Go ahead, get me. All the blocks are against the wall. Here, I get like, what, two chances with this? This is bullshit. Unless you can pull them away from the wall somehow. I don't think so, though. What the fuck? What, did it just end? What was the time limit up? Alright, I think it's... I guess it started over? I don't know. This is weird. Ah. Wow, talk about slowdown. They, oh my god, they just keep coming back? Son of a bitch. Wait, am I still going from that last level? I thought the game like started over. I think this is a whole nother fucking thing. Oh, you can br- Oh, dude, I didn't know you could break the fucking blocks up like that. There. Oh, shit. Well, that makes it fucking different. I had no idea. <sighs> oh. oh, shit. Walk up, walk up. Mm. Bitch. There you go. All right, 11,000 now? What did that fucking say up top? Camel toe? I didn't read it quick enough. It goes away so quick. Font's a little harder to read. Fucking thing's talking about camel toe. What the fuck? Fuck is wrong with this game. Mike, it didn't say camel toe. I know it didn't say fucking camel toe. Alright? Maybe it did though. What do you know? Oh shit. Go! Ends. 
All right, I didn't expect to be playing this this long. Now I'm like getting into this game. <laughs> it's definitely got some bad like lag issues, but whatever. I'm gonna, I have to stop because we gotta move on to no more games. That game's, I like that though, that's fun. I could have kept going. Uh, what else do we need? We got Galaxian, Missile Commit. Oh God, and then there's the trackball games. Um, all right, let's see here. Wait, I got now, I got Star Wars, uh, Return of the Jedi here, Death Star Battle. Let's see. I haven't tested this game out, so I don't even know if this is going to be a controller or what, or if it's going to work, or paddle, or I don't know. Let's see if it'll even come up. I probably have to clean it. Let's see. Come on. Knew it. Motherfucker. Motherfucker. I have unlocked Camel Toe model. Camel Toe mode. Atari 5200 has the best Kaboom version, right? Yeah, right. More like it. Ah, so this is working. Here we go. Let's see. Hopefully, this works. Hey. All right. This is, so this is Star Wars Death Star battle. Which I think this is also on, oh geez, I don't even know how to play this. On uh, 2600? I think. Oh, why did I go through there? Come on. Oh, fuck. Oh my god, did I make it? Holy shit. Who needs Rogue Squadron? Who needs squadrons? I mean, they give you what you want. Hey, there, is that Greedo? Oh! Fucking Death Star's blowing me away? Ooh, that's fucking Vader. That's fucking Vader right there. Who's this? Who's this? Bitch. What? Whoa. Oh my god. You can't, like, shoot that fucking green thing, huh? I don't know how to... Oh, you can blow away at the Death Star, I didn't realize. I probably gotta get to the inside of it, huh? Shit, fuck. So when that green gets to the, to the inside, it's probably when the fucking middle is gonna go, huh? This is pretty good, actually. Believe it or not, I kinda like this. I can get my ship to the center. Ah, oh, it's like, it's hard to get it over there. Fuck! Having trouble getting it to the center. There. Damn it! Do I have another life? Come on, one more. Motherfucker! I'm playing this again. I can do that. I want to see that shit blow up. Get in it. Oh. oh okay. This is actually surprising. Pretty fucking good. I can get the goddamn fucking forsaken thing over there. Is that not, is this not even what you do? I figured that's what you had to do, like hit the center of it, no? There's something I don't. Oh, maybe I have to fly into it. Oh, you know what? I can't. I can't go up any higher than this. This is like the highest I can go up. Is it, oh, shit. Does anybody know? There's got to be a way to fucking do this. I don't know if anybody knows what you're supposed to do. God damn it. Reminds you of Yars Revenge. Oh my god, now it's just getting me every time. Man, I don't know. I have to shoot the red dot. Oh, that thing up top? I just shot it. I shot the red dot. Are you doing the thing in the middle? Like. 
Fuck. Shoot the green dot. I've shot the red dot and... Rebellion, I did. The red dot in the center. No, but I've been shooting the fucking red dot in the center the whole fucking time, though. Come on. It's like w once you get it there, it doesn't even. It like stops there. Like you I don't know. I don't know what you're supposed to do. You remember shooting the red the Death Star by shooting the red dot on the twenty six hundred? Yeah. Fly in the hole. You you can't go any higher than half than the middle of the sc uh, screen. be like slightly off center it's really fucking hard to do oh i'm in here come on come on come on come on oh did i do it okay so that was the problem i was you have to be like i was a little bit either too far to the left or a little bit too far to the right it's really particular. It's like a one pixel thing. That's why. All right. Son of a bitch. The effects on this game are kind of cool. Anyway, well, I, I guess we've, we've fucking seen it. You saw the Death Star explode. That's Death Star Battle. So if you do play that game, it's like a pixel perfect right in the center thing. It's hard hard to do. Um, all right. Uh, what else do we got? Somebody earlier asked for Berserk. Let's get to Berserk finally. If it works. It'd be good if it had a few more levels. I know, it'd be nice if it had another level or two, right? All right, here we go. We got Berserk coming up. This looks very similar to the Atari 2600. Maybe more animation when they explode? I think so. I used to have a friend that had the arcade cabinet of this in this house. Hey. So it has the voices. I want to be able to hear that. Interception, interference.
like this. This is a, this is a good port. That's like one pixel off of that. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Bitch. Yeah, we know. Oh, we're doing this again. Got the human eye, got the intruder. What? what? Son of a fucking bitch. Go. What if I leave any behind? Does it matter? I'm just gonna go. Chicken fight like a robot. Chicken fight like a robot. That's right, I remember that. Chicken shit. Fuck! Got the chicken. Humanoid got the bitch. What the fuck? I'm dead. <laughs> Alright. That's great. I like that. That's really fun. I love the voices. Alright, uh, we gotta move on. We got Oh my god, so many left. I'm I'm not gonna get through all these. <sighs> alright, alright, alright. Here, we got Gorf, which is frog backwards. Ha ha. Please just work. Please just work. Get the humanoid. Get the fucked humanoid. Ooh, who likes the color yellow? Okay. CBS Electronics. Come on, CBS Electronics. You can do better than that. Maybe. Got the intruder. Got the fucking intruder. Ah, Gorf. There's Gorf. Let's go. Uh, I might need a different kind of controller for this. I think this takes a different, what, what does this say? I don't know. That might, that might be a trackball thing. I'm gonna put that aside. I do have a trackball. We'll try that again later with the trackball. I got a stack for those. Maybe, like maybe that's a trackball thing. I gotta move on. Oh God, so many things. All right, Star Trek. Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. Hmm, do, 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 do. That's not the right music. Do, 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 do. Da, 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 da. There you go. Come on, game. Ha, ha. Now that's the Enterprise. Hopefully, this is the greatest game ever made. Let's find out. Secured. Sector secured. Mr. Spock. Asteroid field ahead. Ooh, is that gas? Because you know the Enterprise takes gas now. 
<laughs> Not dilithium crystals. Bomb. Here's what I want to do. Let's crash into these two balls right here. Goodbye, Enterprise. Oh, sec that secured the sector? Okay, that makes any sense. Alright, you, you get the idea. You shoot Klingon D7s. It's great. Now we got... I don't know. Counter... Countermeasure? Sure, let's try it. Something with a tank? I don't know. If it wants to work, if it doesn't work, I'm moving on. Here we got Minor 2049er. This one, everybody gets excited about like the Red Doom cart or the Red, what is it? Uh, Spider Man Maximum Carnage. Here you have a Red 5200 cartridge as Minor 2049er. If it wants to work. Matches my shirt. That's right. Jesus. That one, that one like almost didn't want to work. All right. I have no idea if this is going to work or not. Let's see. Okay. Oh, okay. So the, all the ground, I guess I got to cover. That's kind of cool. Gee, I played this a long time ago on something else. I think, I think this is on, or maybe it's on regular 2600. I vaguely remember this. This actually works pretty fucking good. Got a shovel? Oh, oh, there's fall damage. I kind of like this. I kind of like it. Minor 2049er. Help out a 49er. Motherfucker. You, so you cannot miss that. Wow. Alright, let's try it again. A little bit of Donkey Kong vibe going on. A little bit. I gotta be more careful here. We're making it through this. This is the jump that's a problem. Okay. It's gonna like blow up? What the fuck? There we go. Alright. Gotta get your cup of coffee. Is that a fucking axe up there? The fuck? Donut? This is weird. Minor 2049er is a fucking axe murderer! Motherfucker! I can do this. Come on. Great score. Enter your name. Look at that background. Holy shit. I feel like I'm fucking high. This is why I love these old consoles. They let you actually do more than three letters. My dream is coming true right now. They're actually letting me do this. You never get to put in all these letters. This is great. great. Uh, this is my favorite fucking Atari 5200 game. <laughs> uh, right. You can run them over when they turn green. Oh my god, Orion's Angel. Thank you so much. So when they're like the glowing green color, you mean?
When they're glowing or when they're, I guess we're gonna find out. Here. Okay, not when they're like that. Get an item. You gotta get an item first. So, yeah, I'm not sure when you can get them. Dark solid green, okay. Like that, like how he is right here, here, here. Okay. By the way, if you're just joining, welcome. This is Atari 5200. I've been waiting 20 years for this. Come on, change colors, motherfucker. You are a bitch. Yes! Motherfucking shoots and ladders. I'll show you. How do you get that? Ah! You jump to it? You jump to it. Ho oh, ho ho ho! You can't fuck with me! Now I know your fucking secrets! really fun. I actually really like this game. This is more playable than quite a few of the other things. I can recognize a good game when I see one. Get the burger. No, fucking burger, motherfucker. Is it like a bullet? Or like a lipstick? Get the lipstick. No! Son of a fucking bitch! I gotta clear those guys on the bottom first. Alright, well, someday we'll play that again. I like that game. That, that's a really good one. It's also another one that gets fucking stuck in the system. My, minor 2049er is the... Let's go with that one. Alright, moving on. We got a lot more. Um, Jesus, fuck. I don't know. Uh... Gyrus? We have Gyrus? Let's do Gyrus. Let's see if Gyrus will work. I like that the Star Wars game was good, but I, I think you're, somebody said like it needed some more screens to it. If it had like another like go down the trench or something, it could have been better. But it wasn't. It wasn't bad though, for, for as limited as it was. It's probably the most they could do with it. All right, so we have Gyrus now. Hopefully it'll work. Is it not working? Wait, yeah, it's like, hold up a second. One second. These cartridges are very dirty. Thank you, Brutal But Clean, for subbing tier three for 31 months. Thank you very much. It's a dildo, Mike. What, what's the dildo? The, the thing that looks like a bullet? Was that the dildo? Hey, listen to this music. This is Atari 5200 music. It's not bad. Not bad for 5200.
Dude, if you had this game in 1987, you were the fucking shit. Or whenever, 86, 85. Like 86. I wonder when this game came out. Not bad. Not so bad. Ain't so bad. You ain't so bad, Gyrus. Looks like Tempest. Yeah, we have Tempest too. You know, I was playing Tempest on this, and I feel like this actually controls a little better than that. I could throw Tempest in. I was having a little trouble with the controls. The way this controls is like perfect, actually. You know what though? I have Tempest on um, Jaguar, and I think maybe that's the one I like. I forget. I have a version of Tempest that I really like, and I never remember which one it is. But I, I like I love Tempest when you can get the controls like the way it's supposed to be. Going to fucking Neptune. That's right. This is a pretty. This is pretty impressive for 5200. Honestly, with the music and the fucking, the controls are good. The graphic, like, this, this one's good too. We're into some good 5200 shit now. See that? There is like, there is like good 5200 games. I do not mind this. I like this version of Gyrus. And you know what's funny? Usually I don't like Gyrus very much. This might be the best version of Gyrus. <laughs> All right, we're heading into Uranus. Shit. And there is a bunch of shit. We're in Uranus and there is a bunch of shit. There's shit everywhere. Motherfuck. Doing well. Now, where are we going now? Earth? Eh, no, we're still in Uranus. We're still in Uranus? Come on. I wish you could just, I kind of wish you could just hold it down, but hey, it's about as old school as you can get, right? I'm lucky it's fucking working. Oh, I got a double shot. All right, are we out of Uranus yet? Pull out of Uranus and go to like Venus or something. Still! Motherfuck. Is that it? That's it. All right. Well, pretty good. I got stuck in Uranus, but Gyrus for 5200, not bad. Let's move on. We got Vanguard. Luther destroys the god. <laughs> is that the new Star Fox? It is. That was the new Star Fox for the PS5. Why not? All right, here we go. Wait a second, I gotta adjust these controls. Wait, what, what the fuck is going on here? Hang on. So I'm adjusting the, there. Okay, I think I got it. No, it's still not, hang on. I have to get the controls first, sorry. <laughs> Give me a second. Okay. I think I got it now. All right, here we go. 
So a lot of the games I have to, uh, you know, it's still like kind of messed up. Damn it. This one's having a lot of trouble. Hmm, I don't know. So, with some of these games, again, I have to like adjust the controls. I probably have to really dial that one in. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna move on. That that's a good game. On uh, I played it on 2600, but I'm, it might take me a little too long to get it to go right. I don't know. How about Super Cobra? Let's try this. Sorry, I'm not gonna spend 25 minutes trying to dial in the fucking controls if they're not working great. Okay. All right, here we go. I feel, I feel like I played a, something similar to this on. Oh my god, I'm having a flashback to an old stream. Vectrix? I think I played something similar to this on the Vectrix. Fuck, is this Super Cobra? I don't think it's Super Cobra, but there's a game that's similar to this on the Vectrix. Anybody know Tom? Scramble! Thank you, Epcot. Yes. And I remember that I had to put a little piece of tape on my uh, Vectrix controller because uh, it like the the grip on it was like hard to get. Okay, so yeah, this is like scramble then. Interesting. All right. I'm having a hard time with this. All right, I'm gonna try, let me try this again. Fuck it, this is hard. You'd never be able to do this with the actual 5200 controller in a million fucking years. the arcade game. There's another Star Wars game. Let's see if it'll work. Lord. Thank you, Henge the Great, for subbing once again for 25 months. Scramble Ramble. All right, we got some more Star Wars action coming in to play here. Let's go. If it works. It's like moving too f mm. The controls on this are not right. It kind of like moves too f Oh, well here's the fucking trench. doing the best I could. I don't know, these controls are not good. The regular arcade game is great though. Oh, is, 
was at the... Oh, did I do it? Okay. I hit the other button, like, the last second. I guess I got it. All right, I don't know. I don't think the controls are very good. Or I don't have it set up right or something. Okay, so... Next up, we have... Oh, I have two copies of Space Invaders, apparently. We have... Do you think Centipede is going to be trackball? It might be. I think Centipede is trackball. I'll, I'll try trackball shit. Uh, we got a decathlon. I don't care. Buck Rogers? Maybe Buck Rogers. Let's see if this works. Come on, Buck Rogers. Yeah. Fuck Rog. More like fuck Rogers. Ah. <laughs> Level zero, zero. I used to have this game on Commodore 64. And, it, and this looks better than that one. I remember those things I'm flying through. I couldn't, I, I think I remember I couldn't tell what the hell they were. I mean, I still don't really know what they are. What the fuck? My God. Did I die? Am I supposed to be flying through these things? I don't even I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing. What the fuck is this? Beep beep. Good old Buck Rogers. Yeah, you know what the controls are a little off too. When they go to the left. Alright. This game. Yeah, and then I, and then when I start going to the right, it starts it keeps like going to the right. It's like a little fucked. This is not good. This is not a good game. I grew, I had in, back in the eighties. I had I had this fucking game on the Commodore sixty four. I, I didn't like it then, and I don't like it now. Let's get it out. Uh, what else? There was Space Shuttle on the NES. Let's see if Space Shuttle on Atari 5200 is just as fantastic. And also, let's see how much fucking dirt is on this thing. You know what's really funny? I thought that this label was covered in dirt, but it's actually how it's printed on there. That's supposed to be like the smoke coming up from the bottom actually I was like wow this game's dirty it's not dirty <laughs> it's, it's you can actually see it's printed that's printed on there <sighs> looks crusty alright Atari alright Atari wow it's like Cuber cursing down there <laughs> oh god damn it it's like fucking up one more one more try for you space shuttle Maybe it's shit. It might be. It might be. Probably because I was shoving the game up my ass. I was trying to... It, I ran out of toilet paper, and I was trying to wipe my ass with Space Shuttle for Atari 5200. That's probably what happened. Now it's not working again. This, is, this game is not going to... You know what? This game's not going to be worth it anyway. We're moving on. Um, space? Space Dungeon? How many fucking space games are there? I'm getting to the point if it's not work. If it doesn't fucking just work, then. Come on, game. Hey, space Dungeon. All right, Space Dungeon might work. Let's see this. What in the world? Shoot something? What is this line? This is fucking weird. Alright, there's a map up top. I guess this is, maybe this is more of a collection quest. I wish. I, so you can't shoot anything? It's a four way shooter? I'm not able to shoot. I feel like the controls... I can move around, but I can't shoot anything. You, you, oh! 
Orion Angel says you need two controllers. Oh, uh, okay. I do not have two controllers. Um, apparently you need two controllers for that. So maybe someday. I wanted to do a two-player 5200 stream someday. So one day, one day we'll do that. That will be one of the games, and I'll we'll get to that. Um, okay, so next game. Let's see if Congo Bongo will work. Do 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 do. I do not have two of them, Brutal. All right. So this one, I this one needs a number pad, huh? So I can't. Okay, I can't do Congo Mongo apparently. I can't do every game. They don't all work. Okay, so I can't do that one. How about, how about, how about? Rescue on Fractalus. Rescue on Fractalus. My favorite. <laughs> I like Rescue on Fractalus. Lucasfilm. How much money do you think George Lucas got for Rescue on Fractalus? Mike's not going to know how to play this one. Shit. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Goodness gracious. Oh my god. That was like when I was giving birth to little Timmy. Oh, oh here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, look at this. Whoa. It's like we're flying for real. All right, all right. It's kind of interesting. Whoa, pull up, pull up. I'm impressed with the graphics. Oh, oh shit. Bitch, did I get that thing? Fuck, it's not, not easy. It's actually worked semi all right. I'm surprised. the fucking enemy. I mean, I'm still playing, so I guess them. I guess I got one of them. I can't even fucking tell what's going on. It's almost like a fucking Jaguar. What was it? There's something like this on Jaguar, some shitty thing. Oh, actually, was it the where did you learn to fly thing? Alright. Um, for, for Atari 5200, I'm kind of impressed with the kind of flying through space that they're doing here. This is almost like Rogue Squadron, like 15 years before Rogue Squadron, you know? It's like your ship flying through space. That's where they were at at that point. Wow. Um, there was probably a dude taking a shit in a bush and I got him. That's, I think that might be what actually happened. All right. Pole, pole, pole position, pole position. Come on, pole position. Let's work. X-Wing, 10 years after this, right? How far we've come. Prepare to qualify. Love that soundtrack. All 
the controls and all there. Well, it does look more advanced than the Atari 2600 version. Plays a little better. As, I mean, as it should. It's easier to, like, take turns and shit. Actually, like avoid the cars the way you'd want. This is uh, this is an okay version of pole position, I think. For I mean, for for what pole position is, the Vectrix version is great, and I'm surprised right now. The this version is not terrible. I don't hate it. That's good. All right, you got a semi okay version of pole position. Surprisingly. What else do we got? We've got so many more. I'm probably not gonna get to them all. All right, Choplifter we got. Let's go. Remind you of the Dune Run and Rebel Assault, yeah. All right, we got Shoplifter. Which I think, I had this on 7800, or I played it on that. Can I flip around? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a second. All right, whoa. Sorry, I'm trying to figure these controls out. Get on in, get on in. All right, now we, now we fly back, right? Got a night mission here. Flip around. Does that work? I gotta be like, there. Hey, hey. I mean, it's working. Uh oh, son of a bitch. Ooh, ooh. Oh, fuck, I went down too quick. This is, this is not terrible either. I mean, I think there's a version of this on... Oh, he hit me with the fucking missile. What is a really good version of this? Is there something... Is there, like, a Genesis one of these? I think, there, I think there's one on, like, Genesis or something. Like, a much more modern... Modern version of this game that's actually, like... Way better. I'm trying to think of what it is. Master System? Oh, maybe Master System. I was playing that recently. Come on, get in, get in, get in. Turn around, turn around. Oh, motherfucker! And all the men die too, right? <laughs> Alright. So that's that's okay. Choplifter. What else? Uh, fuck. <sighs> All right, we got Blueprint. Let's do Blueprint. Uh, I, I better clean this first. This looks... This looks dirty. All right, uh, Blueprint. It was in the arcade. It uh, was on an Atari 2600. I guess we have this 5200 version. Wow, this looks way better. Now, okay, now this one looks a million times better than the the tar that uh, 2600 version so let's see how do you play this again um, you go in the houses and you bring the pieces down to the to the blueprint and you gotta fill you gotta fill out the machine and then shoot the monster pieces of this here's that. So the problem I have with this game is that I have fucking terrible memory, so. What's that? All right. 
Let's go see this. Yellow house. One of them has a bomb, too. Fucking monster. Oh, fuck, that's the bomb. Uh, is this where I get rid of the bomb? Yeah, that's the thing to get rid of the bomb. It's like the gear for this. I'm like not gonna make this in time, am I? I was trying to remember what to do in the beginning. Fuck. You have to build this whole machine. I don't, is there a way to kill that dude? Oh, did all that shit just get, what is going on over here? Like. Can I like put him in this hole? I don't know what to do about this guy. That I don't remember. Fuck. Does anybody know? He looks like a fucking fry guy. Does anybody know what to do about him? <sighs> okay, he's dead. Put him in the pit. That's what I tried to do. Oh my god. Here, the bomb will go in the pit. Damn it. Oh my god, everything's a fucking bomb. Also, all this shit here looks like fucked up. Is that what these guys are fucking? Motherfucker! See, I don't remember all these these guys running. Like, I don't have a weapon to fucking kill them or anything. Here, I gotta like put this all back together now. All right, this is a little different than the version I remember. All right, it's all put back together now. Fuck a bomb. God damn it. And the fucking plants are coming down? Come on. Alright, here's another piece. Now I just need one more. Fuck, what house is it gonna be in? Like this blue and red one, maybe? Hold up, hold up. Let's try this blue house, I hope. Fucking shit. Oh, how about that red house? Don't you fuck my machine up. Oh my god, this is the last piece. And then what, I go to that start button or something? Here we go, here we go. Is that it? Oh, now I can shoot. Hey, there it is. That's what you do. So I built the machine, I shot the monster. I wonder if you can actually accidentally shoot the girl. The problem I have with this game is my memory is terrible. I remember all these houses. This one. I, I do I do like this game. I'm just not good at it. Come on, let's get this in here. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it again. Let's bring this down to here. Here. It's one boot. This so guy's gonna come out. How did that sh all that shit get fucked up before? This is the middle piece. This fucking guy. Get out of here! See? I don't know what's here. Let's bring. Maybe. See? I'm trying to put him in the. Oh, you can put him in the pit. I guess it's just a little bit difficult to do. Fuck. Okay, you can put him in the pit. I didn't know that. What is going on? He's not moving fast anymore. No! Dude. Now where's that thing? Oh no, it's sitting on the fucking blueprint, isn't it? All right, get, isn't the thing built now? Oh, now I go to the button, I guess. Isn't this built? Oh, there, okay. Motherfucker. What? Why did, damn it. Got him. 
It's like not easy to shoot that. Sometimes the thing goes like bouncing out. What is it, a fucking potato gun? Oh my god. Cutscene. This is great. Motherfucker. Come on. Come on. I made it to level three. Bastards. Alright, well, that's Blueprint. Blueprint's good. I still like Blueprint. That's a better version than the 2600 one. Honestly. Um. Alright. We got Mountain King. Mountain King is a game that... I used to try to do a crazy glitch in, which I don't know that it exists on the 5200 version, but you can go to like glitch heaven in that. And I showed it to James and we uh, ended up putting it in the uh, game glitch episode. So if you watch that, you'll see there's a little section on Mountain King with a glitch in it. I was gonna do a Mike's game glitches on it, but ended up doing it that way. You remember Glitch Heaven? Yep. Uh, now this is the 5200 version though, so, and I don't remember, even remember exactly how you do it. You gotta like plug in like a paddle, and plug in one controller, plug out another thing, and then you end up going to this weird area. It's really weird. Uh, anyway. As far as the regular game goes in this though, I don't really even remember. You have like a flashlight. Oh yeah, you jump like this. I don't even remember what you're supposed to do in this game. All I remember is every time I put this on, I would just try to do the the heaven the heaven glitch. I don't really remember what you're actually supposed to do in the game. All right, you can turn the flashlight on. Oh wait, it looks like I'm collecting all these uh, diamonds or whatever. I guess just keep collecting the fucking diamonds until whatever they are. Until you get them all. I suppose that's the goal. I, I really don't know. And then there's this shit, let's say this. Is that fire? Oh, and that's a crown down there, so is that how you become the fucking king of the mountain or something? Who knows? Uh oh. You probably like jump in there. If I can get back up there. Here. How the fuck would you. There's gotta be a way to like put that fire out so you can jump and get the crown or something? Maybe if you get enough of the diamonds. I don't know, I'm like making guesses here. Maybe somebody knows. Collect all the little dots until you have a certain amount. Then you have to find an invisible flame. You'll know it's close by the music. Once you see it with your flashlight, bend down on it and you'll be glowing. Then go to where the skull is and bend down and climb it and there will be the crown. Oh my god. So, first of all, I have to know how many of these diamonds I have to get, right? Wait, I hear music now. Is that the music? And then there's an invisible flame. Do you see, do you see the flame with the, oh shit. Motherfucker. You see the, see the flame with the flashlight? Bend down on it and you'll be glowing. Oh, what the fuck. I'm not really sure, here. use the flashlight to see the invisible flame when I hear music, huh? But at first I have to collect enough of these. How many do I have right now? 840? Oh, wait, it's counting down. It's not counting up. So I wasn't even looking at that. So I have to get that down to zero, I would imagine, huh? Okay, hang on. Wait, now it's going up. Oh, no, no, no. 360, 310. Oh, 
let's get it down to zero. Let's see. Okay. See, now, I think I, at this point, I guess I have to find it. Now it's like counting down again? I don't fucking understand. I thought you had to get it down to zero or something. Now, now the number is literally just dropping. Maybe that's how long I have to find the the flame. I heard the music. Wait. This is. Flame. I will see the flame blank. Oh wait, is that it? The fuck? Have you guys seen the? F I mean, I'm probably in the right area, right? I'm hearing music. I'm now I'm too far away. Stand still when the music is the loudest. Okay, I'm gonna try this one more time. So I assume the first thing you gotta do. Is, see, I'm at 720. Like get, get that down to zero. I assume. Then you walk around. You find where. You wait. You wait until you hear music. Then I guess you use your flashlight when the music's at its loudest point. And then hopefully you'll see an invisible flame. This is like the this is like three amigos. You have the invisible swordsman. Is that it? fuck was that? It was like a gravestone or something? Oh no. Wait, it's still playing pretty loudly. It's It plays loudly like everywhere. Alright, now it's getting softer. Where the fuck is this thing? I have no idea. Oh, wait, is that it? I, I fucking just, wait, that's it, right? Now, now what, now what? Can I, can I walk through this shit? Oh shit, fuck. Motherfucker, that was it though, huh? Am I dead? I think that was the flame, I think. Was that the flame? I don't know what I was, shit, I don't know what I was supposed to do after that. I thought I could walk, I thought that was like an invincibility thing so I could walk through the other flames. You must bend down underneath the crown. Oh, really? I'm gonna try this again. Hold up, I feel like I can do this. I just was trying to understand what the fuck you're supposed to do. It's a, it's a weird concept, huh? You know what else is weird is that fucking glitch. Like, everything about this game is super weird. An odd, odd idea for a game. It's kind of cool, though. How much time do I have? I don't have... I, all right, so I don't have much time left, but I'm, I just I want to try this one more time. One day I'll come back, I'll try to play other 5200 stuff and do a two-player stream maybe or something. Finish them out. Oh god, you know what, I didn't even... I'll try to put in some of the trackball stuff too, before I'm done. Not 
not even gonna get to that. I gotta, I'm trying to find that music now. Okay. Spider's gonna come. Oh, what? Did it start me over? <sighs> Alright, this. I have to move on. I'm actually really interested in this. I would like to do that more, but um, that's a fucking weird game. Uh, I have to move on because we're, we're running out of time. Um, Alright, add keystone capers. Let's see if this even works. Come on, game. No? Fuck it. Move on. Uh, go. Cloak and Dagger. There was a movie, Cloak and Dagger, um, in the early 80s. And they released the arcade game and the movie at the same time. Oh, this one has the cap on it. Um, so I guess this is the Atari 5200 port of the arcade game from the movie, of the arcade game in the movie or whatever. Does that make sense? Oh, Pac-Man. But it's Cloak and Dagger. I thought this was going to be its own thing. The f I'm now I'm super confused. I thought this was its own game. It's just Pac-Man? What? That's not right. What? What? Well, anybody know what the deal with this is? Somebody ripped me off? Maybe. Um, I know that, th is there not really, um, is there not really a Cloak and Dagger 5200 game? I'm so confused right now. Cloak and Dagger is rare on 5200, is it? Well, it doesn't seem to be really the game. They probably switched the interior. I don't know. Hey, it looks like I got ripped off at some point. All these games I bought, like, over 15 years ago. So, it looks like somebody ripped me off. All right. Well, that's that one. Uh, it happens. You got to watch out. Let's see. Uh, let's see if the 5200 Popeye is any different than than the 2600 one or the NES one. Oh, come on. You know what I'm gonna do? If, I'm gonna try to fix Popeye real quick, and then I'm gonna put in the trackball stuff. We'll do trackball. I have more games, but I'm not gonna get to them all. It doesn't look like. Come on. Hey, Popeye's working. All right, let's see how Popeye looks. All right, a little more detailed. Did that a little too early. Am I not able to, I thought you jump. Can you not jump? Maybe you can't. Definitely different animation and whatnot. It has a different look and the way it goes down the stairs feels different and shit. Better graphics, I guess. Oh, that was like the hag. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember that from the fucking hag comes out. See, the sea hag. Oh, son of a bitch. So that, that's what that looks like. Definitely different than the uh, you guys have seen like the NES version and all that. NES version looks better. All right, 
so that was all. I had more 5200 games, but that was all with the uh, with this new controller that I got. This, this controller works very well. I'm very happy with it. Um, so now we're gonna switch to the trackball controller and do a couple trackball games. Now I got Missile Command. Missile Command which I believe is a trackball game. We'll see which one's a trackball or not. Uh, if anybody wants to check, I think Centipede Super Breakout. I got one called Ball Blazer. Uh, if you want to check if those are trackball or not. Uh, all right, so let's try this. How do you even start this? Okay, so the start button on this like this. All right, let's try this. Trackball controller for 5200 works very well, actually. You wouldn't believe it, but it does. I mean, I was able to do that. I actually really like trackball. I wish there was a way to do Marble Madness on the NES with a trackball controller, but I don't think that there is. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, no. Boom. Ball Blazer's joystick? Okay, thank you. Ball Blazer sounds painful. Boom. Do I have Atlantis for the 2600? I do. I do indeed. I didn't see that one keep going. I mean, this... I don't know if this game was supposed to also work with the 5200 controller. Um, or if it's just meant to be trackball thing. But it's... Uh, it works great. You gotta get them early because then they break off like fuckers like this. Fuck. Jesus. Oh, looks like I'm dead. Alright, so I mean, Missile Command. You guys have all seen Missile Command. It works very well with this trackball. Let's see if... Let's see if Super Breakout... Maybe it's trackball? I don't know. Right, let's see. Looks like it might. Okay. I kind of expected it not to. Oh, nice. Yeah, you know what? Now that I'm doing this again, I think this is the game that I used to play for 5200 in college when I would show people the 5200, because they'd be like, what the fuck is that huge console? I'd be like, that's the 5200. I'd be like, I want to try it. So I, I would put on this with the trackball controller, because this was one game that actually would work well, that I had before, you know, I had a fucking controller that would work. So yeah, this does actually work very well. The trackball works very, very, very well. It's a goddamn shame that the real controller was not as good. And you can play excellent games such as this. What more do you want? Centipede on there. I'm not sure if that's trackball too. I feel like it might be. Best controller. Well, not. I mean, yeah, best controller of all time. Right. Ooh. Shit. It's fucking hard. 
hard to do. The um. Oh, shit. The the breakout version also on uh, regular like Atari twenty six hundred. Th this is super breakout, but then there's like regular breakout. I like that. That's a paddle controller game on twenty six hundred. Let me try centipede and see if it's crack wall. I feel like it might be. Arknoid, yeah, I have that too. All right, let's see. So here we got centipede. And oh shit. Wait. Oh, there it is. Okay. I didn't know what button it is. Okay, so it is. Okay, yeah, this totally works and it works really well actually. I guess, this is the other one I guess I used to play. There's not, I don't think there's that many trackball things. Motherfucker. This is, this is actually awesome with the track, I'm doing this again. Because you can do that precision movement, like, you know, in the arcade, has the trackball. Fuck! I wish I could just, like, reset, like, start over. The 5200 needed a fucking uh, reset button. There's the fucking spider on the side. This is a game I could sit and try to get a high score on. Like, I like this one enough that I would fucking sit and do it. I'm playing this again. This one I get fucking addicted to. I'm doing it again. I'm gonna do a fucking, like, eight hour stream of 5200 Centipede. Wait and say. You wait and say. Motherfucker! And he's dropping more shrooms. He's dropping all those fucking shrooms on me. I don't know how many people right now on Twitch are streaming centipede for atari 5200 but for all you other guys that are streaming it right now i know that you uh, also are enjoying yourselves shout out to all my centipede 5200 streamers all right i'm probably gonna end there i have more games but i'm gonna have to stop because i am yeah actually i'm just i'm like two minutes to out of time so thank you very much for watching um Real quick recap, we played a bunch of, oh fuck, you know what, really quick? <sighs> Shit. Man, I, 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 I do have to like, I am gonna have to do another stream because I forgot like Tempest. <sighs> um, I do have to go, but like, this is gonna even work. That's not even trackball, right? It's fucking the other controller. Is that even gonna come on? Oh, well that's an Atari H now. Wait, let's see if this is trackball or not. Yeah, that was the problem. Oh, you can play this with trackball. Kind of, like, kind of. I don't think you want to play this with trackball, actually. Yeah, it doesn't... It doesn't work right with trackball, I don't think. But anyway, that's the, that's the Tempest on here. I have to get that set up better at a different time. I'm going to play uh, Tempest on uh, Jaguar, I think. Anyway, though. Uh, so, yeah, once again... Uh, it was a fun stream. I'm glad after all this time I was able to actually play Atari 5200 thanks to 
this new controller I got. I want to get another one of these controllers, and hopefully we can do some of these two-player games. There was Mario Brothers, and then there was uh, there was something that I couldn't play without two controllers. Uh, I forget what it was, but anyway, thanks a lot for playing. Now, as far as really quickly, as far as some the games I really really enjoyed, I liked. Um, uh, Blueprint was really good and honestly the, the Star Wars game was fun uh, the one the, you know what one I think was the best one I think minor This I think this one was the one I liked the best maybe uh, and Centipede was also really fucking great like I, lo I love that Centipede like I, I would just sit there and play that forever Pango was kind of fun um, so yeah there, so there are some actual fun, good games on the 5200. Like, it really wasn't that bad. It was just... The whole problem with the 5200 is this fucking thing right here. The, and as I said in the beginning of the stream, I have had many furbished, refurbished controllers. Even if you get a really good refurbished controller, it's still just not great. So, unfortunately, uh, they fucked up with that. But the uh, trackball is... Very good. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. We will be back again another time with another stream. Killer Condom asks, do I have a 7800? I do. Um, actually, the 7800, uh, if you watch the AVGN movie, uh, I have a modded 7800, and the ET footage it was done with my 7800. The I have almost all the 7800 games. I'd like to do a 7800 stream. Um, the 7800 controller is like a little weird too. That's a whole, well, I can talk about 7800 another day. Um, but yeah, there's not even nearly as many 7800 games as there are 2600. Same thing for 5200. There's not like a lot. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I will see you later. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Bye.